Hello, my beautiful fairies. This is Clara May, aka your fairy Clary godmother. And I wasted time on this. I'm not sure if this redesign fin is gonna be a new series or whatever, but I wanted to try it out anyway. Today, I'm gonna be redesigning the Care Bears. So before I moved to Odyssey, I was a YouTuber. And my Care Bears videos were some of my most popular successful videos, with my Oopsie Does It review having almost 5,000 views before my YouTube channel got terminated. And after getting some requests on YouTube to take a look at the other Care Bears stuff, which I hear get worse and worse, I decided to get creative and pitch my own take on these little bears. I'm actually really determined to try and make my own version of this franchise because I love the premise of Care Bears, but it's just so wasted. So I'm gonna show you what I would do if I was given creative freedom over the Care Bears if I could take this series and make it into whatever I wanted. So, without further delay, this is Clara Mae Spencer's take on Care Bears. Or Claire Bears, if you prefer. <laughs> My premise is called Guardians of Kara, as I've decided that Caralot is now just the name of their home, while Kara is the name of the overall world. Kara is a realm above the Earth. Here lives every creature from every earthly legend and myth, and it's up to the Care Bears to protect it. So Tenderheart and Cheer were the two designs I did off-screen. So Tenderheart is kind of the unofficial head bear of the franchise, so I made him the leader. The trick was making him look older and wiser than the younger bears. So I made him taller, fatter, with smaller eyes and a bigger muzzle, but also styling his fur like a beard. The trickiest part with Tenderheart was making him look older but still cute. And of course, I gave him a heart-hooded wizard cape. Because, well, everyone needs a cool wizard cape. And yes, my version of Tenderheart is a powerful wizard. In my version, the bears are warriors, blessed with the gift of turning their emotions into extraordinary powers. And they teach others to use the power too, in order to help defend both the creatures of Kara and the children of Earth from darkness. Now for Cheer. I made Cheer a melee brawler of sorts. I wanted to make her a fighter, but also had to keep her cute and bubbly. Which made me think, What's tough, but also cute? Magical girls. So I went full on Shoujo Sailor Moon Madoka Magica Pretty Cure and made Cheer into a magical girl. Complete with a Sailor Scout inspired collar and a ponytail. I also gave her rainbow colored fighter's gloves. And to complete the anime inspired look, peace sign pose. Like Tenderheart, Cheer was tricky, but for a different reason. Because I didn't want to have her rainbow colors be too oversaturated or too busy. But I think I found a good balance of color here. Okay, now to draw new ones. I'll start with Funshine. One thing I do like about these redesigns is that the designs are simple enough to look uniform as a team, but also gives me creative freedom to draw them with different body types, hairstyles, accessories, etc. But I also had to keep in mind not to overcomplicate them. I tried making designs that were unique, but still marketable. Designs that could easily be converted into toys or animation. Because art and business don't have to be enemies. For Funshine, I decided to make him a spellcaster. But not go for a wizard theme like Tenderheart. So I decided to make his clothing colorful and fun. With a big bright red cap. Like the one he had in Adventures in Carolot. And I also designed his little shawl with clouds and a sun pendant. And for his jokester, outgoing personality, I gave him loud body language and a big smile. <laughs> to imagine that, even in this action-packed, more serious version, he's still optimistic and really silly. Oh right, I should mention that now. My version of Care Bears would have a lot of fight scenes and tense moments, with some emotional drama sprinkled in as well. No more pandering, no more cutesy fluff. Guardians of Kara would treat its audience with respect. It's not dark, edgy, or aggressive, but the Care Bears will be more active and not be afraid to go on adventures that are dangerous or even a little scary. And speaking of magic, the magic system would revolve around emotional control. To fit in with the theme, the better you are at controlling and expressing yourself, the more incredible your powers will be. The bears would teach kids to control their emotions to cast spells, which would engage children's imagination and encourage emotional regulation. Emotional states can also alter the effects of spells. I feel that this would add a lot more intensity, personal connection, and uniqueness to the challenges the bears would face. Like trying to cast spells in a blind rage if their friend got hurt. Or extreme joy that caused unstable spells to burst out. 
It unlocks so many possibilities and provides the show a unique power system. Kind of like the elements of harmony from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Which was a huge inspiration for this reboot, by the way. Spells based on emotional states are not 100% new. But hey, spells based on the four elements aren't new, and yet Avatar is still unique and amazing. It's all about execution. Make Funshine a big sunshiny yellow and a swirly sun for a belly badge, and bravo! Here's Funshine. And now for everyone's favorite, Grumpy. Also known as the only relatable one. He's kind of always been portrayed as an inventor of sorts, so I ran with that theme. Giving him gloves, a tool belt, and goggles. You can tell I like steampunk. His face was fun to draw, but also a challenge. Because I had to make him look grumpy while still being cute. So I gave him the same facial structure as the others. However, I made his cheek fur and hair droop down as if it got wet in the rain. Because Grumpy's fiend is rain clouds. I like to imagine he's grumpy because he's always wet. I also gave him smaller eyes, bushy eyebrows, a little fame poking out of his mouth, and very subtle tired bags under his eyes. I also gave his goggles a little crack resembling a thunderbolt. It also shows that he's a hard worker, but also a little rough. And that is such an important part of character design. Tell a story through the character's appearance. If something is unnecessary to a character's design, remove it. Something that serves no practical or stylistic purpose and doesn't tell you anything about the character or clashes with their personality. look like a storm cloud. As for more about my version of Care Bears, the story is about emotional understanding, learning about the world around you, and displaying compassion in life. The external conflicts are all the challenges the Care Bears face, but the internal conflict, however, are the Care Bears and their own journeys of who they are and how they feel. And all the other characters, too. The Bears have their own struggles and sometimes don't know how to deal with it. Each character has their own unique trials and tribulations to go through.
and done! Grumpy looking better than ever. Now to Share Bear. Share was one of the easiest to drop, but one of my favorites that got executed. I love how she turned out. This time, she's a healer who uses her sweets to treat ailments and illnesses. She has the power to duplicate objects, too. I wanted to go for a nurse look, but I decided to go with a sweet, cutesy look instead. her candy-themed hair ribbons, a ribbon scarf, and put her hair in cute buns. Not much to talk about with Cher, though I did give her more curls in her fur and made her eyes drop for that doe-eyed, innocent look. the stories of this potential reboot, there'd be an overall plot of trying to reunite with their lost family members. All while trying to stop a newly unleashed darkness from corrupting the hearts and minds of both Kara and Earth. Cher's original belly badge was a milkshake with two straws, but they changed it to lollipops because sharing milkshakes was considered too unhygienic. Crazy, huh? <laughs> anyway, here's Cher. Next up, Good Luck Bear. My version of Good Luck Bear is a charming merchant who has the power to generate wealth from his belly badge. Yes, the Care Bears still have their belly badges. But instead of just getting random powers, their powers all have thematic ties to their symbols. So that way the magic feels more unique to each character. So good luck is obvious.
obviously going to be influenced by stereotypical Irish symbolism, such as the four-leaf clover, but I hope not to make it offensive. I don't want to glamorize stereotypes. I just like using different cultures and their exaggerations to make unique feels for each character. But I do my best to research and not go too overboard. <laughs> but I do like to think that good luck has been to Ireland more than any other place on Earth. So he likes to mimic their culture. <laughs> Maybe that's where he got the accent from. show his fortune and charisma. As for his clothing, like I said, I wanted to make him look like a wealthy merchant, complete with a cane, cuffs, collar, and big top hat. And I made all of his jewels in the shape of clovers. His eyes are blue to keep with the colder color scheme and to prevent him from drowning in green. Good luck, Bear is ready to go. And finally, we have Wonderheart, the character introduced in Welcome to Carolot, which I did see and did not like. 
Her personality was a bit too wide-eyed, curious dreamer for my liking, and her design was hideous. I hated how big her forehead was. But for my redesign, I decided to make her forehead larger than the others, but make her eyes bigger to not make her head overpower her face. Which was my biggest problem with the original design. Her design is still a little balloonish, but I think I did a decent job of not making her too obnoxiously cute. In the story, Wonderheart wants to uphold her family's legacy of protecting the Earth. But her belly badge doesn't have any powers. So she has to resort to finding creative ways to fight. She's a bit duty-bound and devoted to her family, but is also highly curious and empathetic. Which leads to her inner conflict of tradition versus her own heart. Flair, or Claire Flair, I gave her a red cape. Just like her uncle. I like to imagine Wonderheart wears the cape just to flatter her uncle Tenderheart. I also made her eyes brown just like him. It also helps add some natural color to her pink palette. With her completion, the Care Bears are done. reboot concept of Guardians of Carolot was really fun to do, and I'm super excited to develop this concept more. I'd love to maybe make a comic about my version of the bears, or maybe even try and get the rights to produce it into the next generation of Care Bears, if I'm lucky or way too cocky. Let me know what you guys think of my concepts, both art and story-wise. Anything you disliked about the original and want me to fix? How about what you liked and want me to alter and keep? Would you buy toys of these guys? Anyway, this has been Clara May, aka your fairy Clara Godmother, and I'll see you beautiful fairies another night.